lot of work this year, man. What was it like to experience a win Saturday, celebrate with your teammates? When you invest like that every week, it's a great feeling, you know, to come out on top. And uh, just like myself, trying to work my to work my game to get better every day, and uh, you know, seeing the results of just getting the win, regardless of how it looked. Does it, I don't know, take some pressure off you guys' shoulder to get back in the win column, or does it just make you more hungry for the for the next one to experience the same? Uh, I think it just makes us more hungry. I don't think there's ever pressure to winning a game. Uh, if you do your job, you know, you work hard, it should work out the way you want it to. Parker, I feel like the past, I don't know, at least two weeks, maybe three weeks, the offense line really got some good push, especially in the run game. I mean, what did it take for you guys to get to that spot? Uh, that's a really good question. I think it's just a mindset, how we prepare. Um, I started to look at things positively and not, you know, so negatively. And, you know, even when I lost a rep, you know, in practice or something, just how, how can I get better from that? So I feel like we all had that mindset and uh, just, you know, carrying on from that. Do you think as you got older, you were able to kind of reach that <laughs> mindset now? I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe as a freshman, you know, if you're getting beat, maybe you might get down on yourself, but now you're able to look at it differently. Yeah, and that's the, that's the beauty of the game. Like the game teaches you so much and how to approach things mentally. And uh, just, I see everything as a positive, regardless of the situation. Like our season, you know, it isn't the way it's going. But I see it as a positive, and it's going to be a good lesson I teach myself or I learn from myself in life, you know, beyond football. Coach Mobridge coming in, and you guys have kind of moved some pieces around up front all season. So, you know, it's been a learning experience, it seems like. But do you feel like towards the end of the year, you guys are starting to kind of mesh together up front? Yeah, absolutely. The chemistry is there. I feel like even with guys that, um, you know, have rotated different positions are starting to gel with guys that they weren't used to playing beside. and. Uh, I just appreciate, you know, everybody coming in, just working and keeping that same mentality every day. Speaking of moving positions, you were on the right side last year. You moved to left this year. Obviously, you're still a blind side tackle with Holton being a lefty. But uh, how's that transition been? What's been the same? What have you had to adjust? Uh, like I said earlier this season, it's, I'm, I'm comfortable there. I've positioned my body to play left side more and more now. But uh, it's a learning experience. You know, this is the first time I'm ever I've probably had a full season of being a full-time starter. Um, it's also playing left side fully, so it's a learning experience and just continuing to improve and see what I can do, you know, beyond. Maybe does. I mean, as much defensively as y'all probably will face. So the challenges of facing that, kind of trying to maybe diagnose what they're doing pre snap, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I talked to uh, some of the guys about it, like Dustin. And I was just saying, like, we got to be real technical with our steps and our hands because these guys do a lot of things we do. And they mix things up, which makes it difficult to, for teams to score on. And that's why you know teams can't really score on our defense like that because the way we play the game physically and how we mix things up as a scheme. Is it good that you know, there are some similarities you know, between Blake's scheme and, and obviously their coach? So you do have maybe some you know, expectation of what you might see Saturday? Uh, yeah, I definitely go. I, I think we're going to see the same thing, but I feel like they're they're going to add something new every time. You don't know what they're going to come with. And uh, just, you know, if we do what we're supposed to do uh, today, practice tomorrow and the rest of the week, uh, we'll execute well. Coach talked about working on Navy for the last month or so. Is that an offense thing or just a defense, or is it everybody's just kind of focused on aspects of the Navy game? Well, I think it's everybody. It's a uh, uh, guys on scout team included, like they got to do their job to make sure we get the best look for the game on Saturday. And uh, offensively and defensively, they do things that are difficult for teams to stop, and that's why they're a really good opponent. Do you, you maybe highlight the scout team in a week like this? They don't get maybe the recognition they deserve to those guys. <clears throat> they got to put in a ton of work, and how much y'all rely on them to, to prepare y'all? We rely on those guys, uh, you know, weekly, and especially this week, uh, Coach T, Coach Thompson. He's I know he's gonna get those boys right uh, for defense. So I'm excited to see how you know he schemes things up for practice, and um, I'm just excited. I had a question about the last last week's game too. As an offense, with the way Andrew was kicking, did it just feel like, hey, we just got to get to this spot <clears throat> and score points? Like was that? Uh, yeah, I mean, Conrad, you know, I, I kept commenting on his posts and stuff, Sniper, because he was just, you know, hitting him. And uh, I think it's our job as an offense to get points on the board. Now, you, you want touchdowns, but if, you know, we don't get there, unfortunately, we just got to execute up front holding, and then the guys, uh, holder, snapper, kicker, just do their job. All right. Awesome. Appreciate it all.